Ciao a tutti, it's Aureo man. Today we are proffering another heraldic beast uh, variant, not the one that I played in the last uh, video, and also not uh, the same one that I profiled uh, a while back, uh, which is closer to the one that I played in the last video. I updated it a bit, but not enough to want to reprofile the deck, considering uh, you know heraldic beasts are not the most popular deck in the world. So. Uh, yeah, but uh, this is uh, Heraldic Hands, uh, or Heraldic uh, Skill Drain. It's based off uh, Philip Vargas' uh, list that topped uh, uh, Moral Tag Monthly number 20, I think. Uh, 19, sorry. Um, yeah, it's a list that, like, at first glance, it's, it makes no sense. And then you think about it for, like, an hour, at least. I thought about it for, like, an hour then. And I was like, ah, no, no, actually, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, but you know, this is my take on it, um, same concept, so let's just uh, get into it. Starting off, of course, with the three Heraldic Beast Leo. This card is uh, obviously great uh, under Skill Dream because, uh, you know, it's a 2k beater. Downside is, uh, during the turn it's normal summon, it uh, destroys itself, but under Skill Drain it doesn't, I think. Uh, might be a maintenance cost, I don't know, I assume it's not, but um, regardless, you know, it searches to give it there. Even if it kills itself, it doesn't matter too much. You know, in this variant, it matters a bit more than a uh, more mid rangey variant uh, because uh, you don't uh, XYZ as often. But um, still, you know, you're gonna run three copies of your searcher either way. Doesn't really matter. Three copies of Faber Conway, uh, the recycler of the deck. Pretty much, you banish. Uh, if you have two in graveyard, you banish uh, the other copy, and then you add back an Arald Beast Monster. So you can add back the Leo, so you get its effect again. You can add back uh, the same Abercorn when you activate it. Obviously, not the one you banish, but you know that can come up. And then for the other uh, Arald Beast names, I'm playing eight names total. We're playing one copy of Basilisk, the only main deck card that uh, you know conflicts under Skill Dream, but you know. Kind of have to have it. Uh, it's uh, kind of like Bull Blader, except uh, you know it doesn't have to live. I think to destroy. So, you know you can get over a Gear Gear or you can set it and kill whatever uh, it attacks it. And then we have one uh, twin twin headed eagle. Basically, if it's in the graveyard, you can banish it to attach two um, heraldic mist monsters to uh, an X Y Z. That has no materials on the field. You know, it's a win, like uh, the Upper Conway. So, uh, you know, being wins is really, really nice in this format because, you know, you have Lightning Chidori Access, which is a pretty great card. Um, but, uh, you know, it's mostly here to have an another name because uh, really with this deck, you want to get to a simplified game state and, uh, you know, having an extra. Heraldic Beast Monster can be helpful under those circumstances. After that, we have uh, three copies of uh, Kageto Kage. You know, it's Heraldic Beasts, pretty damn standard, even in this list. This is our only extender here. Uh, but, uh, you know, the fact that you can search it off King of the Four Olympus is just way too strong. Uh, so, yeah, we run it. And then we are running uh, the hands. We are running two and two. Uh, you know, you could honestly you could run more. Uh, I just want uh, less normal summons because you, we already are running pretty much gadgets. So late game, I don't want to uh, draw too many hands uh, throughout the course of the game because we already have a lot of normal summons in the deck. So that's why I'm playing only four and not six or five. Next up, we have the spell lineup. It's pretty short, but uh, you know it's very interesting. Uh, three copies of advanced heraldry arc um, art. You know it's the soul charge of the deck, except we don't play soul charge. Uh, Philip played one. I think there there's certainly an, an argument to playing one soul charge. But frankly, I don't feel like it's very necessary, and I would prefer to have a stronger early game than just uh, than a stronger late game. Instead of the one soul charge, I am playing a second copy of duality. So yeah, I'm playing two copies of duality. 
you know, this deck special summons, but uh, not too much. And we want to dig for skill drain because that's kind of our main win con. Uh, so, you know, I thought uh, duality would be good. And, you know, you don't, we don't have much space for uh, Maxi or certainly not Upstart. So, yeah, for Upstart. Then we are running Trigobs of uh, Forbidden Lands. Uh, you know, it's back row protection and it's um, uh, Battle Trap. The main back row we are really worried about is uh, Bottomless. Uh, we don't want to get hit by Bottomless and get, uh, you know, all of our stuff banished. Which, uh, speaking about banish, in this deck you absolutely have to side Trigobs of MST because this deck dies to, you know, Graveyard Hit. So, not as much the, the crow, but you know, you want to hit uh, your macros, your defissure, your soul drain, and debunk. But uh, you know, for main deck stuff, those are cards are not very common, so um, I would rather have Lance for um, you know, bottomless, which is the main uh, uh, banishing card that people main deck. And then for one offs, we are running uh, Dark Hole because. Uh, we want to simplify the game state, so we want cards that can give us pluses and Dark Hole can give us pluses. And uh, Foolish, because it's uh, basically Rota for the deck. And for Traps, we are running, of course, three copies of Skill Drain. This is kind of the main card of the deck. It's Skill Drain, it's a fucking strong card. Uh, obviously, because this is a Skill Drain deck, our worst matchup is uh, Mythic Rulers <laughs> because uh, you know they already play Skill Drain, so like our Skill Drain doesn't do much, and uh, they outnumber uh, us, number as in attack stat. Uh, but uh, yeah, besides that, the card is really strong versus most decks, and um, it's okay versus the other decks. So yeah, then. Something that I don't gen generally advise running, but in this deck it's actually pretty solid. It's the battle traps, two mirror force and two the prison. Again, uh, for mirror force it's uh, like and it's like dark hole. We want cards that can give us pluses. This card can give us a plus one, so we want it. <laughs> it's really my reasoning behind it, and you know the prison is another. Um, Removal card, it's a one for one trade. So, uh, it's I don't think it's it's as, it's as strong, but uh, you know it's still a solid card. And speaking of uh, one for one removal, it's not really one for one, but you know in this deck it kind of is because uh, uh, the Her the heraldic uh, replaced themselves. But you know if you don't if you don't have an heraldic, this card kind of sucks, which is why I would not run three. But uh, you know two is fine enough in my opinion. A very strong card. Then uh, we're also playing another card that I generally don't uh, recommend in the main deck, but in this deck it actually makes sense, it's Blackhorn. Um, reason why is, uh, you know, how do you get over a 2k beater? You make an XYZ, or you, you access the extra deck in general. How do you answer the extra deck? Blackhorn. Flawless reasoning right there. <laughs> and then, uh, you know... Uh, Solemn, Torrential, Compose, Bottomless, uh, self-explanatory shit. You play hard. If, if, you, if you're watching a Heraldic Beast uh, skill drain uh, deck profile, you probably already play hard. That is a, a wild assumption but uh, that I'm going to make, but I'm gonna make it. Then for the extra deck, we are running... Uh, uh, well, you know, I would probably be running two crazy boxes, but I don't have a second one, so I'm running uh, Geonite Pearl instead. Uh, but, you know, Gemlet actually does have some um, niches, mainly if uh, you fear skill drain getting destroyed, so it's actually pretty damn solid in the Yat matchup, and um, also in the Gyuga matchup. Uh, in the Yat matchup, it's because, like, you know, they have a lot of MSTs and you beat over most of their shit, they have to go into Tiras or Volcasaurus uh, to crush into it. Uh, you know, they can uh, out it with uh, M7, but uh, if they have played this up first and you make a rank 4, you can uh, just attack into it. And, you know, versus Gyrgyz, they can't really get over 2600. So, 
<laughs> uh, yeah. Um, meanwhile, you know, Crazy Box, uh, it's kind of the main guy you want to make under skill drain. So, uh, since uh, you are trying to get skill drain up and uh, you want to have skill drain up, I would probably play to Crazy Box still uh, over the floor, but I don't have second Crazy Box. So. And I didn't want to wait uh, because of today I really feel like uh, filming something, so yeah. Then one copy of uh, Chidori because it's a wind monster. Well, because it's a wind deck, well, we have some wins, and you know, Shidori is really, really strong. Uh, one copy of uh, 101 because uh, it's uh, 101. Then I'm actually playing uh, two copies of Exiton because versus Yugias, it's really strong, and in general, if you don't have uh, skill drain up, you can uh, having two is really strong. Yeah. You know, if you open, well, not really opening because like you can't really get two on turn two, but you know it it can come up uh, in the grind game. And we're also playing two copies of Dweller because versus Mermel, this is our win con, pretty much. Uh, skill drain is fine, but you know you you'll probably set it out, or uh, well, even if you don't, it's a backup plan compared to Dweller. So, you know, versus Mermos, uh, it's actually, you might actually want to side in a couple of extenders, maybe, I don't know. Uh, that might be a plan for like Mermos and uh, Mythic Rulers, you know, decks that don't die to skill drain. That might be an option for you. Conversion, si conversion siding into regular Heraldics, pretty much. Um, so, you know, sitting in Dynasty Rooms and such. And then we have, you know, Rhapsody, Black Ship, uh, pretty standard stuff. Uh, for our other uh, rank 4s, we are running one Diamond Direwolf because uh, we have Beasts in the deck and uh, it synergizes with uh, Advance uh, the Heraldry Arc because it gets all both of the monsters in Graveyard immediately. Uh, one Hull Train Draco because, you know, it's good to top deck uh, Advanced Heraldry Art. And uh, when the opponent has 2k life points and just make Heartland Draco. <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, King of the Frog Imps for uh, uh, Kakito Kage, a level chain to get our loops uh, going. And uh, round of the extra deck, we are running one Negusto Emerald because, uh, you know, recycling back our Leos and more importantly, our uh, hands is good. But, you know, you could be running Ragnar Zero instead if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah. That's it from me, leave a like, join the Discord, uh, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, uh, ring the bell, all the good shit. Good.